Hello and welcome back to another Punch Technology video where we're going to look at how to enable TPM and Secure Boot on your Windows 11 and Windows 10 machine. Not only are we doing it on a Windows 10 and a Windows 11 machine, we're doing it on an older style BIOS and a newer style Gigabyte BIOS. And we're also doing one on Intel and one on AMD. The older style BIOS we're doing on Intel, the newer style BIOS we're doing on AMD but you should find that they both generally match either way, so it should help you find the setting that you're looking for, whether or not you're using AMD or Intel. Right, before we get started with enabling TPM and Secure Boot, we need to check one important thing first, and that's to make sure that our hard drive is not formatted in MBR and is formatted in a GPT format. The way we're gonna check that is by going to our Windows tab at the bottom here, and going to Disk Management. From here, we can select our C drive in the middle. We're gonna right click on there and go to Properties. We're then gonna click on Hardware, click on the drive just there, click Properties again. Then we're gonna click Volumes, and just down here, we need to click Populate. On this system, you can see it set as MBR, so this needs to be changed to a GPT format. If your system is already formatted as GPT, then you can just go straight to this time as you won't need to do this next step. For those of you that are on MBR, let's follow these steps here to convert our system to a GPT partition. What we're gonna do is come down to the Windows bar down here and click on Settings. From there, we're going to go to Update and Security we're going to click on recovery just here and we're gonna press restart now. By restarting the PC this way, we get to enter recovery mode on our system and we get to go and use a command prompt. Once we're in recovery mode, we're going to click on troubleshoots, advanced options, and then we're going to click on command prompt. The command that we're gonna to need to type in first to convert our system to GPT is as follows. We're going to type MBR to GPT forward slash validate, just like this. So that's gonna complete the validation successfully. Now the command that we need to type to actually do the conversion is MBR to GPT forward slash convert. So this is going to start the conversion process. Once this has completed, we will continue from there. The conversion is completed. What we're going to do from here is type exit. So this is gonna exit out of our command prompt and then we're going to just turn off the PC using this button here. So now that the PC is switched off, all I'm gonna do is switch it back on and check that our partition is now set to GPT. The PC is just rebooted. What we're going to do is right click on our Windows key, go to disk management like before, Right click on our main partition, click on properties, hardware, select the drive, click on properties again, go to volumes, and then click populate. As we can see now, the drive is partitioned as a GPT drive. Now that we've converted our drive to a GPT format, what we're gonna check next is that our TPM and that our secure boot is enabled. So let's do that. First thing to do is check if Secure Boot is enabled. So what we're going to do is hit the Windows key and type System Information. From here, what we're going to do is run as administrator. You can do this by right-clicking and running as administrator or just clicking on the button right here. We're gonna click Yes. From here, all we wanna do is come down until we find Secure Boot State, which is currently set to off on this computer. So that is one thing we're going to have to enable. Before we go and enable our secure boot, we're just going to double check the state of our TPM. So I'm just gonna minimize this and we're going to check TPM by doing the Windows R key to open the run box and we're gonna type tpm.msc. We're gonna press okay. And from here we can see that a compatible TPM cannot be found. So this is another thing that we're going to have to enable. So we're gonna jump straight into it and we're gonna start with the AMD BIOS, which is using Windows 10 currently. So let's jump onto the machine. And first thing we're gonna do is come down to the start bar just here and click on settings. 
Then we're just gonna to come to update and security. We're gonna find this recovery button over here, click on that, and then we're just gonna press restart now. So what this is gonna do is restart our computer into recovery mode. From there, we can enter the BIOS. So it's now come on to recovery mode. We're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then click on UEFI firmware settings. From there, we can press restart. And now it's gonna load up into our BIOS from which we can enable TPM and our secure boot. So remember, this is the AMD BIOS, so that will show us how to do that. From here, all we need to do is press F2 to come out of easy mode and into advanced mode. From there, we wanna to go to settings, miscellaneous, and come down to AMD CPU FTPM. So from here, we can select AMD CPU FTPM and select enabled. The next thing we need to do is find our secure boot. So what we're gonna do is come over to boot at the top here. So when you come into the boot menu, if you don't see secure boot as an option, it's probably because you still have CSM support set to enabled on the computer. So what we're gonna do is set this to disabled and what this will present to us now is the secure boot menu. So we're gonna click in this and we're gonna change secure boot to enabled. Just press okay on this message here and then all that's left to do now is press F10 to save and exit. So now that the system is rebooting back into Windows, once it loads, we are just going to check to make sure everything has been enabled properly uh, by using a run command, which allows us to see all the TPM settings. Um, so as soon as this loads up right here, we're going to check that and I'll show you just how to do that right now. So now that Windows has loaded up, we're just going to press Windows R on our keyboard this will open our run box, and from there, we can type in tpm.msc, which you can see I've already typed in once already. And from there, we can see our TPM has been enabled, and the most important number is just down here, which says version 2.0 has been enabled. The final thing that also needs to be checked is to make sure that secure boot has been enabled. So we're going to come down to the search bar and type in system information, and again, run this as administrator. Once this is opened, you can come down to secure boot and you can see that this setting is now also set to on. All we're gonna do now is switch over to the Windows 11 machine, which is on the slightly older star bars using Intel, and we're gonna do the exact same process on there. So we've just loaded up onto the Windows 11 machine just behind me here. We're going to enable TPM and secure boot on this machine as well. It's a very similar process, just the settings at the beginning slightly different and we're gonna have a slightly different BIOS to work through here. So to start off on Windows 11, we're gonna come down to the Windows start key and click on settings. Straight away from the systems tab, we're gonna go back to that recovery section as we found in Windows 10 as well. From here, we're gonna click on restart now and press restart now. So this is gonna do the exact same thing as it did on the Windows 10 machine. It's gonna boot us into recovery mode from where we can go to the UEFI firmware settings and enable TPM and secure boots. So it's just loaded up into recovery mode. We're gonna click on troubleshoot, go to advanced options and click on UEFI firmware settings just there. Once again, exactly the same as Windows 10, this is gonna take us into the BIOS, and from there we can enable TPM and secure boots. We've now entered the BIOS on this slightly older style motherboard. To get to secure boot, all we're gonna do is click on BIOS just up here, come down to secure boot right at the bottom just there, and then we're gonna click on secure boot enable, and click on enable just here, which is gonna change this little icon here to enabled. We're then going to click on peripherals and then come to Intel Platform Trust Technology. From there, we can double click on this and press enabled there as well. Then what we're gonna do is press F10 to save and exit and reboot into Windows. So once again, we're just gonna check that this has been enabled properly. Once we get back into Windows, we're gonna run the run command and look at our TPM settings 
to check that it has been fully enabled. So now that we've loaded back into Windows 11, we're gonna do the exact same thing as before and use the Windows R command and run our tpm.msc to look at the settings. From there, it will load up and as you can see, our version of TPM is enabled and is version 2.0, so we know this is all done correctly. That's everything now to get TPM and Secure Boot enabled on your Gigabyte motherboards. If this has helped you get through this, then make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be uploading a lot more videos very soon that should help you get through your journey on Windows 11. Without any further ado, I'll see you in the next video.